There was more uniformity in the discussion today than I expected. Um, it felt like a lot of the people were on the same page. I think the takeaway message is that those early years are important years and that children, when they're playing, they're not just playing, that they really are learning and that if we as adults learn how to use that play, children will grow and develop and be better prepared for school. Parent engagement is that critical piece in a child's life and we know from research that if we have our parents engaged in their child's learning that they will stay connected to their child's education. And in order to do that we have to make it meaningful for the parents just like we have to make it meaningful for children. If we don't focus more on the early years, I see our achievement gap, if you will, getting larger. If we do it right, the dropout rate will lower and our children, our young adults, will have a stronger sense of self, of who they are and that they are important and what they can contribute to the future. I mean, if the military can't find recruits, if the police department is saying fight crime, invest in kids, if business leaders are saying this, then we just hopefully can have the political will to do something about it, even if it's baby steps along the way. If we can take the right baby steps, that would be better than taking no steps at all. And now a follow-up to our Public Square episode from June 2012 on accessing quality child care. Alan Sanchez of St. Joseph's Community Health and Senator John Arthur Smith discuss the future of funding those efforts in New Mexico. Really, a constitutional amendment is this worthy of a public debate. That's what we're asking. That's what we want the hearing and vote it up and down. But is it worth of a public debate? Because the legislators, they can't change that formula. The, only the people can and 80% of the people want to see it on the ballot, 71% said the day of the poll that they would vote for that. The first thing I want to do is continue through the appropriation process, the increasing of emphasis on early childhood and education in the state of New Mexico. And I still want to be able to make certain that the retirement plans are sound. And so the challenge obviously is there, and there's a perception out there that more money fixes everything, and I'm not of the school that subscribes to that. Now, I'll be there to help the senator. If they're going to appropriate money from the general fund every year to grow that, we're going to be around to, to help you and to <laughs> quote you on it. You know? So what would it take to have a hearing on this? To see the entire interview, tune in tomorrow, Friday, May 31st, to New Mexico In Focus at 7 p.m. You can also see it at NewMexicoInFocus.org. Join us for Public Square on the last Thursday of every month. And visit our website by going to NewMexicoPBS.org and looking for Public Square under Local Productions. Here you can give us feedback or suggest topics. Also, look for us on Facebook and Twitter. Thank you for watching.